For this winter, it feels like we've gotten dumped on with snowfall all at once. Chief Meteorologist Emeritus Bill Stephan joins us from the Man Cave to talk how this winter compares to the snowiest winters we've ever seen in West Michigan. And for the record, snowiest winter, we have to go all the way back to the 1950s. We had a, a few big ones back then, didn't we, Bill? That was an enormous winter snowfall-wise. It came early with two feet of snow during the first couple weeks of November. And then, back in 1951, the temperature soared all the way up to the low to mid-60s. So all that snow melted off. And then after that, we got dumped on again during the month of December. And by the time we hit Christmas Day, there was 22 inches of snow on the ground, Christmas Day in 1951. And uh, we had drifts here four to five feet high. Santa had a hard time kind of getting around through all that snow. But uh, indeed, uh, the snow kept coming as we uh, passed the uh, new year. And uh, by the time the season was over, we had 132 inches of snow in uh, Grand Rapids, and that was at the airport. And that was the old airport, which was over by Roger B. Chafee Parkway there. And we had 144 inches in downtown Grand Rapids. Some lakeshore areas were up over 170. So that was the snowiest year we ever had. That was back in 51, 52. Wow. And I remember the next snowiest winter, 2013-14. That was the year that snow piled up on the sides of the roads and much of Lake Michigan was frozen, wasn't it? It certainly was. That was an incredible winter here, and I think a lot of people remember that. We were just coming off 2013, where we had the big flood here in Grand Rapids. And, of course, uh, we were worried because we had so much snow that next winter that we might have a flood again uh, during the spring of 2014. Uh, in fact, during February of 2014, we had more than a foot of snow on the ground every single day of the month. It was the top 10 coldest winter that we have ever had here in West Michigan. So, indeed, it was. Uh, it was a chilly one that was again uh, back uh, about 10 years ago 2013-14. Yeah I remember walking out onto Lake Michigan that year. So many people remember the snowy winter of 2001-2002 because a lot of the snow fell right around the holidays. Right Bill? That is correct. 105.4 inches of snow that winter, and about half of that, about 51 inches, came uh, from around the Christmas time uh, all the way into uh, around New Year's. So it was uh, 51 inches that fell in about nine days here. It was light, fluffy snow, lake effect snow for the most part, so it was a little easier to shovel. And it compacted down, so we didn't see 51 inches of snow on the ground. I think the most we snow on the, uh, saw on the ground here was about uh, 17, 18 inches, but it was a a fantastic time to head to the ski resort do some uh, skiing or maybe uh, get the snowboard out snowmobiles had a great time 2001 2002 and uh, again uh, the snowplow drivers that uh, that period of time really didn't get any relief at all I mean when you consider that it snowed nine days in a row and when a day to rest up or uh, you know make sure the equipment's running okay they just were always out there I talked to a lot of snowplow drivers who just said we just didn't get any sleep for about nine days Oh, I bet they didn't. But that's a great time of year for the snow to fall because everyone likes it around the holidays. Uh, the way this year is looking, we still have more winter ahead. We've had 81 inches of snow so far this winter. we got a good chance of topping 100 inches and, and being a top 5 or top 10 snowiest winter. And it's come in clumps. We've had five days uh, this winter so far in Grand Rapids where we've had more than 7 inches of snow. So a lot of winter left to go yet. Uh, hope you get out and enjoy it. Oh, we absolutely will. You as well, Bill. Thanks for joining us from the Mad Cave.